Well, in the last interview, bro, it was a lot of comments about like your appearance, you know, and um, a lot of people was like, man, they was concerned about your health or it looked like you fell off or you was on drugs or you was just drunk, man. I mean, man, just talk talk to people, bro. Let them know, like, man, like health wise, financial wise, like, how are you? What right I told now? you about social media. You talking to the viewers, man. <laughs> Hey, bro, I was like, listen, you put yourself out there, like, you got to think about this, like I told you, right? For motherfuckers who ain't been seeing me, and you ain't seen me in years, you see that? You entitled to your opinion. Everybody got an opinion, as asshole. So I don't play into people's opinions, and them motherfuckers don't even know what's up with me. But you, I don't get into the push and shove game because that don't worry me. You have to watch them motherfuckers figure something out. So it's like you're paying me for comments. I'm cool with your comment. Say what you say. Mm -hmm. I think people play more into, like, if you, you got to show them shit, like motherfuckers ain't been seeing me. And I'm working. Like, I'm not in, like, I've done all that shit. Everything that motherfuckers doing, I've done. I'm cool. But I, I love the opinion. No, for sure. So, um,. Yeah, man. Um, so, so, so. Aside from that, bro, you know, the last time we chopped it up, you mentioned that Dodo would still be alive if that collaboration uh, with you, Stunner, and Master P happened. Definitely. Can you break that down? I mean, because we were in the midst of getting a deal with Def Jam. Yeah, talk about that, dog. I mean, if Master P would have got on the song with me and Birdman, like that third one, G song, supposed to be me. Birdman and Master P. And P said he wasn't fucking with that. Period. So if you notice, that's why P wasn't involved in the second project. But if we did that, then we'd have got a deal with Dev, with Dev Jam. We had not already hollered at Russell or something. He was like, get Birdman on the phone, get um, P on the phone. We got both of them on the phone, and then he came up with this bright idea. It was like, let's try to put them on the same phone. Mm -hmm. So we had, we had a $5 million deal on there. But I can tell you something that Birdman put us on, he was like, because by the time of, the, of, of when we was doing it, and Stunner put us on this, like, he was like, what you do is ride it out to the end of the, it's, it was like the end of the quarter, right? Because the album was probably going to come out, like, I think the album came out in August or something. Mm -hmm. And he was like, don't even get a deal right now. Mm -hmm. Like, get the independent money until the new quarter start, and then go to New York and go get a deal. And he was just showing us how, like, now I understand exactly what he was saying. Because it's bargaining power. You know, the records already got motion. You're already making money. So you ain't going up there asking for anything. Like, a lot of that shit you done made. Because once you put that kind of record out in six months, you gonna see, you'll see some kind of results. Even though you haven't got to check it, you know what you're about to get in your pocket. Mm. You, you need me to stop it, bro. I'm about to kill it. Man, so, um... But yeah, you you were touching on you was, uh, touching on on uh, 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 Dodo would still be alive because of the Def Jam deal. Um, but I, I want to know this though, bro. Like aside from you saying, uh, aside from you saying um, that P didn't do the the song and y'all didn't get the deal. Like, why would it just be um, like because of that? Was he he was still in the streets? Is that I mean? What you mean as in the deal? Yeah, like when Dodo got killed before we can go even see if we got a chance to do it do what we was gonna do. Mm hmm See, cause like I was telling you, Stunner was putting us on some shit how, of how to get the independent money first. Right. And then go to the majors once they reopen for the new year. Mm -hmm. This is a brand new budget. So Dodo get killed in what? August or September? So right when the did Dodo be killed before the album drop? And this no, was right before the album drop because we about to go on promo tour. We leaving the crazy party. We leaving to go on promo tour the day before Dodo get killed. So another day we wouldn't even been there. We were doing last year. I think we had a little slip. Now we, we that's what we used to travel a lot too. Yeah, they, they used to tell the southern region up. But but talk about it. I mean for for those who may not know, man. Like so, what exactly happened to him? I mean those. Sliding through a hood, somebody followed them, followed them to the store. 
We said they followed him. Mm -hmm. And we like ambushed him or something. And ran down on him. Now you gotta understand, New Orleans small and people are adapting themselves to getting out of the streets. Yeah. So sometimes you will have enemies that you don't even know sometimes. Yeah. You know what I, I thought was interesting, man? You had brought up how you linked um, Soldier Slim, or well, you and Dodo, I guess, linked Soldier Slim and uh, C Murder? Uh, BJ and C Murder. Huh? BJ and C Murder. Dodo was already dead. So, um, I was doing an album called, um, I had just got with this company called Ball of Fall, right? So, when I first got the Ball of Fall, well, my partner bought me the Ball of Fall. Louis the 14, my partner from Press Park. So when he brought me that, it was they was already established. So it's after Dodo died. I think I had to put out like two products. I put out the independent products. I had my own company at the time. When they brought me to the table, like they signed me right then and there. Mm -hmm. Wrote me a check, signed me, and they was like, "Who you want on the album?" Like in this time, well, like a lot of people don't understand this neither. I'm the first person to put Pimp C on the record when he first came. We get Pimp C, 30. Like, I think it was a Rolls Royce or something he had. They just showed this, too. Um, oh, the Bentley? The Bentley. Well, the first one, that's the one he pulled up to the studio. He wrecked it that same night on his way to Honest. But, like, they got him on the album. Um, and this time, CeeLo Green was hot as fish grease. That's when he first went solo. We, they got CeeLo Green on the album. Like, look at the time. CeeLo Green wasn't doing no features. So I'm watching them pull that off. We got De De Devin the Duel, uh, Zero. Um, so I said, I won't see murder and beat you, right? So I call my brother Bud. I'm like, see in jail at the time. I call my brother Bud. I'm like, tell C I won't get him on something. But like, all right, C called me like two day lady. Like, what's up? Send a record. I'm like, how much you want? She's like, man, I don't need no money or nothing like that. I'm like, nah, see, I got a budget. Because what I realized was the company was spending money with everybody else. Like, I'm looking at them giving PMC 30, giving this with 15, giving um, CeeLo Green 50. Like, we about to go break some bread over here. So, see, like, you ain't got to give me nothing. I'm like, I got a budget. See, automatically understood it. He didn't know if I was signed or what it was, but he knew I had a budget, meaning it wasn't coming out of my pocket. So he like, give me 7500 or something like that. I'm like, all right, we're going to give you 10000 Boom, I sent him the record. Um, when he sent it back, he changed the hook. He like, let me do the hook. That's why my hook, his hook, is in between the verses after BG. My hook, come on. That was the original hook, right? So um, when he sent it back, I hollered at him. I'm like, I'm about to put BG on the record. He like, I fuck with BG, man. Tell that nigga holler at me. I'm like, all right, cool. Boom, I hit BG. We really go through the same thing of it, right? BG like, man, I ain't charging you for no record. I tell him I got a buddy. We go through the same thing. I meet BG in um, Memphis or something, because he on tour. We do the record. Uh, I let him hear C on it. He like, I fuck with C. I'm like, man, matter of fact, C fuck with you too. I'm going to give him your line, right? He's like, yeah, tell the nigga I'll at me. Boom. Uh, time go on. I put the album. I don't think I did. I, I don't know if I had put my album out yet, though. But I got my record back and everything, right? So the time go on, boom, the record on the radio. I hear it, but like, we don't really listen to the radio. So a representative from C, one of the C managers or something, called me and was like, go to Rose Tavern. Rose Tavern is in the Cali. I like, go to Rose Tavern for what? He like, C said, go to Rose Tavern. I'm like, all right. So I'm going to go. But I'm taking my time. Mind you, keep in mind, C is not home. He in jail. So I know it's not like C around there. But I don't know what's going on. My OG called me. Stepper. Three Steppers. OG out the project. He used Him and BG used to work, right? Stepper like, where you at? I'm like, I'm in the project. He like, BG said me them by Rose Tavern. I'm like, me them by, I'm like, what they doing around there? He like, they shooting a video. I still don't put it together. I'm like, all right. I shoot. When I'm on my way there, BG called me back. He's like, man, where you at? I'm like, I'm about to pull up now. 
I don't know, they got a whole crowd out there and everything now, right? Now they had an already shot C parts, wherever they shot them at. So they were shooting BG parts, but that was C making sure I got in the video. Mm -hmm. But I didn't even know the video was going on. Because you connected them. I just, I knew I put them together. And I knew C wanted to do a record with him. But I ain't like staying in contact with two, two real motherfuckers get together and whatever happens, happens. Mm -hmm. So what was your, uh, like, individual relationships with BG and C, C Murder? Uh, BG, like, came up under me with this mutual respect. Like, I, like, where BG from, I used to hang out. Like, that's how I, I got the relationship with Baby. Like, um, Baby had a brother named Eldridge that dude damn near raised me. So, I had kids in the 13 while, but I stayed in the Magnolia. So, like, um, all BGOGs, I grew up with them. Uh, me and C. Murder. C. Murder and my brother was super tight. Big Bug. Big Bug was one of his managers. So, C. the first person to take me on tour. C. Murder? Yeah, the first person I went on tour with. That's crazy. That's before, like, or this after, like, the hard bra and all of that, huh? That's what I was on to doing, hard bra and all that. Ah, okay. So this is no When limit. I got after, I, right after I dropped the album, I did a promo tour by myself. And when I went back on tour to get some money, she was the first person to take me on tour. For real? And bread was broke. Oh, you got paid? Okay. Man, like, uh... Um, that's my first paid tour. Like, you know how on the outside looking in... How a person like C Murder is portrayed, or the younger C Murder before he went to prison, but like man, being on tour with him, being on the label with him, like C Murder, good yeah. Dude. How how is he, bro? C Murder, good dude. Yeah. Like, um, soon as something bad get around you, or, or soon as something bad happen, everybody look at bad. They don't even look at the good. So it don't. It's not like this ain't a time where the the the, the good outweigh the bad. It's whatever pop up first. You see what I'm saying? Because now you got a battle at. 